Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So in this video I'm going to be looking at the internals of the Graham Slee Reflex M Phono Preamp. This is my one. So we've got an array of components in here. We've got a few capacitors here and two op amps. So we're going to first start with this capacitor which is a 2200 microfarad 35 volt capacitor there then moving on to these next two here they are 47 microfarad by 63 volts and then the next two there are 4.7 by 100 volts 4.7 microfarad and then finally we've got these five bigger ones here which are 220 microfarad by 63 volts why I like this uh, Graham C Reflex M, again, it's very easy to dismantle and it's so simple to upgrade, it's unbelievable. You couldn't get it very much easier, just undo bolts at the back, four bolts and the circuit board just slips straight out. So you can unsolder and... Uh, desolder I should say and resolder in new parts very easy and uh, if you don't like the parts you've uh, you've soldered in you can solder some other parts and it's pretty pretty simple so so I first like to say um, there's not a lot to this this was 540 pounds in its basic form now I bought the upgrade power supply with it so with the upgrade power supply, I paid £690. But you can see there's bugger all inside this. And this would be very cheap to make. So you can see the sort of profits these companies are making. Um, I've got no problem with companies making profits because I'm self-employed and I run a small business. And I also need to make profits. But you can see how how cheaply these uh, products are made. It's not just this company, it's all companies. They're, um, so what I'm planning to do is really improve the sound of this. So I'm gonna look at what capacitors I can fit into this because uh, I'm probably gonna go for the, the, the same as I've been using the Audio Note Kaisa because they are, in my opinion, the best capacitor on the market. Although they might be expensive, but they really do work. I mean, as I've seen in my power amp, I am over the moon with how that's come out. And I think I can do the same with this. I mean, these are not the most expensive capacitors on here. They're just your run-of-the-mill, fairly cheap capacitor. So I'm sure I can really give this a big lift. And the op amps there, I shall talk to... Um, Nick at Hi-Fi Collective about the op amps because he does op amps there and see what I can uh, do with those. So it's only a quick video today. I just wanted to show you the uh, the parts I need. So <clears throat> I've jotted them all down. So I need one of the 2,200 microfarad 35 volts. I need two of 47 microfarad by 63 volts. Five of the 220 microfarad by 63 volts and two of the 4.7 microfarad by 100 volts plus two microfarad, not two um, pop amps. And I haven't undone the power supply yet. So this power supply that Graham Slee do, they offer a basic power supply or they offer the PSU one, which I have. And then they do an even higher grade one, which they sell for around about 300 and 90 pounds now i'm sure i can really go to town on the power supply and upgrade that and make it absolutely wonderful as well and uh, that's what i plan to do but i shall do the power supply in another video now um so i think that's it for this video it's uh, it's pretty basic stuff here it's uh, it's not very difficult to work out you know how to uh, upgrade this it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward so i think that's it for this video it's only a quick one today just to show you the inside of it so uh thanks for watching another tweaker man video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to press that notification bell 
so you're notified each time I upload a new video and thank you for watching guys.